Okay, bring him in. Okay, wolf campers, thank you for coming on in and doing our instinctual archery training. This is a different kind of archery than you might be used to when you're target practicing. This is instinctual shooting that's actually uh, used for real hunting with traditionally crafted bows at home. Now you're going to be using bows that are uh, fiberglass for practice, but this is a bow that was made by instructor Jason Hi. Patterson uh, out of a nice uh, U. So we're going to uh, practice, I'm going to show you how to do it on this and follow the Wolf Camp protocol for safety, learning how to instinctually shoot. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is have a archery range master. And that range master is going to say, archers, step up to the firing line. And so the archers will step up to the firing line, which is behind on your side of this ground quiver that's here with the arrows in it. The second thing that is going to be said, you're not touching anything at that time, you're only holding your bow down and to the left like this. It's a dangerous weapon. And so you have to hold it down and to the left like this at all times. Not up like this, not up like this, not over that way, anything like that. You want to have it down to your side. So the second thing the range master is going to say when you're doing this yourself is archers, knock an arrow. And so what you do is you take an arrow out of the ground quiver, put it straight into your bow. You don't go like this wave it around you don't aim it off like this when you're putting it in you actually want to put it straight out of the ground quiver and into your bow like that and then the third thing that the range master is going to say is archers fire when ready and this is where the instinctual archery comes in you don't aim it's from the heart because you're only this far from the animal. When you know how to hunt, you get close to the animal so that animal does not suffer at all. You have to, in one straight movement, pull back and lift and let go right here when your fingers are next to your lips. And you freeze when that arrow is out of the uh, bow. You freeze because you do not want that animal to know where you are. Because if it knows where you are, it's going to run away and you'll never find it again. You just injured an animal and that is inhumane. So you need to freeze so it just doesn't know where you are and it stays right where it is. So range master, what's the first thing that the range master is going to say when you're doing this yourself? That's right, archer, step up to the firing line. You stand right here sideways, toe, lined up with toe, lined up with target. You're facing... 90 degrees. What's the next thing that the range master says? Archery! Archery! Right. And what's the third thing that the range master says? Archery! 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 And the fourth thing that the range master says, those of you that may have done this before, is? Say it louder. You have to say archers first. Archers, lower your bow. That's right. And then when it's all clear, both shooters, if there's two up here, have lowered their bow, then the fifth thing the range master says is archers, retrieve your arrows. And when you do that, you want to, um, you know, you can leave your bows on the ground. In this case, I'm going to put my crafted bow here on 
the ground cleaver because I don't want to have it on the ground getting dirty. And uh, then it will get weak. As you walk up, and you have to put your hand right here on the straw bale and on the target. And you have to grab your arrow right next to your other hand. And you have to pull straight out because if you don't, you'll break your arrows. Like if you just grab it on hand and pull, it'll break. So you have your hand right there, pull it straight out. And then you can walk back to the archery uh, ground quiver very, very carefully so you don't fall on your arrow. That would be bad. And you put your arrow back into the ground quiver. And once both of the uh, archers have come back and have cleared the firing line, it'll be the turn for the next people. And that's it. It's as easy as that. It's simple. And even the five-year-olds and four-year-olds here will be able to do this. It's going to be a lot of fun. You all ready? Yeah. Archers, fire when ready.